Hey everybody, it's me Stacy here at Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com. Happy Monday to you. Happy Make It Monday to you. That's right, it is Make It Monday time and I have a bundle that is $90 for only $19.99. So if you are joining me during the premiere of today's class, because we're making something, that would be 5 p.m. sunny California time, 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern, there is a live chat right there. <laughs> Please say hello, hello. There are usually several hundred of us on the live chat and we'd love to say hello right back to you. Now, a Make It Monday event. We do it every Monday as long as I have product that that qualifies. It has to be a bundle that is between 80 and $100 retail. And then we have to be able to sell it to you for just $19.99. That means it's not necessarily the most current product from your favorite manufacturers, but at that price, it makes your heart happy because that value is holy smokes, artichokes. And today, today it's Sizzix. Now today is like a twofer. Today I did, this morning, 49 and Market. That is the latest and greatest from Sizzix. 49 and Market debut collection by Sizzix. It is the first collection that they have put out and we have it value priced on sale. And if you were to order that and order something from this category, if you've got the two of them, we will definitely do our best to try and ship them together for you. And well, shucks, you might be able to get yourself over $50 so you have free shipping on top of that. That would be nice, right? I guess since it's Sizzix and Sizzix and they both happened on the same day, as long as you order just the items inside either of those two categories or both of those two categories, we'll do our best to expedite it right out to you. And people are like, does expedite cost more? No, no, no. It just means that, well, we try and move a little bit faster here. We are mostly ladies of a certain age. We've got a few youngsters here. I have to say we've got some 20 somethings here, which is so nice and so refreshing, but we all just move a little bit faster to get it out to you a little bit quicker. And I'll tell you, SMS girl Zoe does an amazing job. She is one of the little bit younger and uh, she's just absolutely rocking it. And she has been filling a lot of the expedited orders downstairs for you. So I wanna give a big shout out to my girl Zoe, SMS girl Zoe, well done you. Now today, today I'm going to show you the bundle for $20. I'm going to do a quick make and take for you, a quick, no it's not demo, it's not a make and take, a quick class for you that I think will be achievable by everybody. I think it'll give you a way to look at maybe dyes in a way you hadn't looked at them before. Then I'm going to show you some beautiful samples and you do not have to wait one more minute. The items are on sale right now. You can go to scrapbookingmadesimple.com. You can scroll down on the home page. You'll see three little boxes. And one of those little boxes says, Make It Monday. Just click that box and it'll take you right into the category so you can see everything we have for you today. And if you like the 49 and market and you want to go look at that, again, the very top thing on our website, on our homepage of scrapbookingmadesimple.com, just click on that banner and it'll take you right in so you can see what they have launched with Sizzix for their debut collection. Is all of this available in our retail store? Yep, it sure is. So come on down. We got French bread today. <laughs> No, sourdough. We got sourdough bread. We got loaves and loaves of beautiful sourdough bread. Uh, somewhat local peep stopped by and brought it to us and I didn't get to see them. I am so sorry, but thank you for that. Everybody is like cutting off hunks to take home. I think we're all going to have clam chowder tonight. <laughs> all right, so if you're ready, I'm ready. We're going to tilt down. We're going to get going. Remember, this product is available right now on our site. The $19.99 bundles are limited. We only get so many, and when they're gone, the only way for us to get them back is if somebody cancels their order or doesn't pay for their order. So, are we ready to start? 
I think so. It's good to see everybody on this lovely Monday. It's a beautiful Monday here in sunny California. I'm going to tilt on down and let's do this. All right, so I'm going to start. I'm going to start with the bundle. It is just one bundle, just one. That's all it is, is one bundle. Has a retail value of $89.95. Your price is $19.99, but you want to see what you're going to get. This isn't like a, a surprise bundle. You get to see what you get. We do not sell any of this open stock. You either love the bundle and get the bundle, or you just pass. First things first, I have a 3D embossing folder, and this one is beautiful. I have a beautiful 3D embossing folder from Sizzix. Love it. And that's like, I don't know, $11, $12 right there just for that. And who doesn't love embossing folders? They last forever. They're timeless. I have got a floral collection. Super cute super easy to use. I love all the little fronds that go with it, all the little extras, the leaves and the twigs and the branches. I love all of that. I've got a slightly more modern floral. So pretty. And I love how they come as a, as a piece with layering pieces on top so that you cut one and then layer on top. This comes out the picture doesn't do it justice, I'm just going to tell you. Then I have got a, uh, how do I describe this? Well, it's got the sentiments. So the sentiments is, the sentiments are, I love you more and you're my favorite. I have to say the favorite is spelled with a U, just to let you know. <laughs> but I love all the bits and pieces that cut into the paper the hearts and I love all the like the little the little fireworks I love all the pieces that cut in so here's the next one and the last one is the one I'm going to be using today this one is holy smokes artichokes it not only has a die a decor die but it has a frame to go with so you've got one two three, four, five different items for your $20. And just to give you a quick little peek. Look at these samples. See, there's that die that has the kind of the starburst going on and they've made it into a shaker really cute right darling little shaker either way or we have the die I'm gonna be using today pretty huh now this isn't anywhere near all the samples I have for you have no fear samples are here but look at this one with the flowers and the embossing folder and the sentiment. <laughs> and they left the U. I suppose you could just snip the U out for favorite, unless you're sending it to somebody in the UK. But I love this one. That came from here and from here. So there's kind of a sneak peek of what I have to show you. But let's start playing for today, shall we? I'm going to open up this one because I am going to pull, I'm going to pull this die out. And this is the die we're going to be using today. It is a wafer thin die and you can tell it's a wafer thin die. Well, because it's um, wafer thin. This is what I call a decor die, meaning that it has no cut edge all the way around. No cut edge at all. The cut edges are all on the design. So this is going to cut into your paper, but it's not going to cut your paper out. It has a frame die to go with it that should you want to cut the entire thing out, you can pair them together and then cut the entire, the entire die cut out. But it gives you options to either cut into your paper or to cut out of your paper. 
And today we're gonna be cutting into our paper. Now I've got my gotcha tool over here. Hello, gotcha tool. This is new from Sizzix. It is by me, Stacy Park. It was part of my March collection and is available now. It's got my little logo on it. That makes my heart happy. And it sits right on your desk, on your making space, and it holds your dies exactly where you need them. You just set them there and they're ready to use at any time. Or if you misplace a die, it's pretty awesome at finding dies. It pretty much, even, even from a distance, and this is heavy, and it's pulling. Oh, hello. <laughs> so if you lose a die under your paper, have no fear. The gotcha tool is here. So I'm going to start with this one today. And I'm going to be using plain white paper. White paper and black paper are going to be my friend today. And I'm going to... I'm gonna cut me a nice little hunk of white paper. I'm just using smooth white. I'm not measuring, I know. I'm not using a trimmer, I know. But let's kind of fly by the seat of our pants, shall we? So I've got my die, and I can see my paper is plenty big. Now when I cut this, because there's no cut edge around the outside, it's not going to bring the whole piece out. It's going to cut the detail in. If I want to cut the whole piece out, I can pair it here, and then it would die cut out the entire unit. But that's not what I'm trying to do. I love the decor option on this to where it will cut into. So I'm going to bring over my Sizzix Big Shot machine because that is the machine of choice here at Scrapbooking Made Simple. I am going to be using my precision base plate today. So the sandwich I have for you is the base plate that comes with your machine. It is the solo shim that comes with your machine. And I know mine is as tattered as tattered can be, but it still works. So I'm not getting rid of it yet. And then I'm going to be using a precision base plate. And a precision base plate is a tool that is sold separately by Sizzix that you use when you are using intricate dies. Anybody's intricate wafer dies is going to benefit from using a precision base plate. It allows that die to really cut in. This is a chrome top and it allows that die to cut into it and really make that, that cut nicely. Let me go back just a little bit so you can see and just in a little bit so there we go so I've got my my base platform my solo shim my precision base plate which is taking the place of what would typically be my bottom cut plate don't need that right now because I've got this here I'm going to put my paper my die with the ridges face down and I'm going to put it at a slight angle not this like that, not my die at an angle, but I'm gonna take my whole paper and put it at an angle. And that way, when my die feeds into the roller, it starts up here and it will feed down. If I leave it like this, my roller is right here. This is what's gonna add the pressure to die cut this paper. I've got a roller here, I've got a straight line here, they're parallel to each other, and so if I were to put it in, you might get a little bit of a kathump, either on the way in or on the way out. I'll do it just so you can hear, so it doesn't you know, freak you out if that happens, and sometimes it happens and sometimes it doesn't. So, not so bad there. Let's see if I get it on the way out. Oh, not bad, look at that. No kathump. Oh, there was a little kathump. All right, a little baby one. Now I'm gonna do just a quick rotate, just to make sure that my cut is cut all the way through. And let's see what I've got. Looks good. Pull off my die. And with any luck, all my little bits and pieces just kind of fall on out. That is the beauty of a precision base plate. 
with a Big Shot machine, a Big Kick machine, a Vagabond machine if you still have one. Uh, you can use it eventually with a Big Shot. Plus, in the in the beginning, you may not because the tension, the the pressure should be tight enough. But over time, you might find that you need it. Yes, you can use a precision base plate with your switch machine. Absolutely. Let's see. And there we go. So now I've got all my little extras. Let's see how close I come to the trash. Oh, I did well. Well done, Stacy. Usually it's not so good. Mr. SMS comes back into his office because this is his space and looks at the floor and just shakes his head. <laughs> Probably should get a little dust buster just to clean it up after I leave, but you know, I haven't done that yet. All right, so I've got one down. Now, isn't that beautiful? And you can certainly back that in paper and have a beautiful look. I'm gonna cut one more. I think I want two of these ready to go. So let's just cut, cut one more. And that way I have two of them ready to go. I'm using 80 pound cardstock. Bring my machine back over and just do a wash, rinse and repeat. So my paper is plenty big. I've got extra room around it and I want the extra room. I'm gonna maybe do a quick rotate and send it back through and let's see what we get. Now, the newer your machine, the more pressure your machine has. The more you use your machine, over time, it will loosen up. The machine I'm using is from 2000 and I think 17. So, <laughs> and it's used all the time. And yet still, look at that. Look at the cuts I'm able to make. All right, let's take my tweezers and let's go poke, 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 poke. All right. Get all those little bits and pieces out. And then I have got two to play with. All right, let's clean it up and see how good I do. Again, not bad. All right, so now I've got two identical pieces to play with. I'm going to set these aside for just a minute because I'm gonna bring over some black paper. And again, I'm just using 80 pound black paper. I'm gonna take my die and I'm gonna cut some black paper all about to the size of what the die is. I'm not gonna die cut the die. I'm just taking some black paper and I just want a piece that's close to the size of the die. And since I did two, We'll do two. So if I wanted, I could put this behind there and tape it down and trim it out and just have a beautiful silhouette look. But I wanted to do a little bit more. You know me. Gotta have a little bling bling somewhere, right? So I wanted to use glitter on this. I want it to be specific where I put my glitter on my flowers or on my leaves, but I didn't want it to be on my beautiful white cutout. 
How am I going to achieve that? Well, that's where this little piece of black paper comes in handy. I am going to take my little piece of black paper and I'm going to use my Essentials glue pad. Now, I can't find my original Essentials glue pad, so I had to open a new one. Look at how pristine and clean this is. It will not stay this way forever, but it looks really good right now. <laughs> uh, uh, the Essentials glue pad is a glue pad that is sold. Well, you want to keep that on there. Is a glue pad that is sold like this. Sold like this. This is glue. This pad comes empty when you buy it. There's nothing on it. Don't, don't worry when you open it up and you're like, where's the glue? There's nothing on it. The glue is here. But this is not a re-inker. So you don't take this and ink, 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 glue, 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 empty the entire bottle and come back in two months and think that you're going to be able to use this. You only use as much glue on the pad as you need for the project that you're doing. So I'm going to take a piece of black paper just so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to put it underneath. And I am going to open up my Essentials glue pad and I'm going to put some glue on it. And I'm going to kind of do a little bit of a Z. So not a ton. And I'm going to kind of go like this. And then on my black paper, my little piece of black paper, I'm going to add glue to the whole thing. almost like it's a Versamark. Can you use Versamark to do this? Nope. Versamark is a watermark medium. This is a glue. Now if I lift it up, I can see that I've got the whole thing pretty darn good. And you're like, well, why did you do it on the black paper? Because if I had done it directly onto my craft mat, I would now need to wipe up my craft mat if I was going to do another one. And now I can see, oh yeah, I've got it all over. I don't want to put my second piece, well I could put my second piece of black paper down, as long as it's close. And ink. I don't want it on my craft mat, my glue on my craft mat. Not that it's going to harm the craft mat, it won't, it'll wipe right off. But I want to make sure that my glue doesn't transfer onto my white paper when I use my white paper with this. So I'm going to do two in black and I'm just going to add my glue and it doesn't have to be perfect, you just need to make sure you get the whole thing. That looks pretty good. So now I've got glue on two. This is where I need to let them go tacky. So while I'm doing that, I'm going to cover up my glue pad. I'm going to put my lid back on. I'm going to close my glue. I'm going to get the glue off my fingers because it is water soluble off my fingers because I don't want to transfer that glue anywhere else. That's why I didn't want it here because I'm going to work on this now and I didn't want this glue to be anywhere else. I bet this would make a really cool like, um, huh, I'm going to save that. We're going to come back to that and see what I do with it. Maybe I do something with that. And now I have two pieces of black paper that have this two-way glue on it. And two-way glue means that I need to let it go tacky. I don't want to put anything on it too quickly. I want to let it go tacky. It's the one time in your life you want to be known as tacky. If I put my glitter on this too soon, 
it will wipe off. So while I'm letting it go tacky, I'm going to take, I'm going to take my black paper. Hmm, maybe I can't use it. Well, I'm still going to, I'll grab this piece. I'm going to take my black paper. I'm going to bring over one of my white die cuts that we already did. I'm going to flip it over to the back side because die cuts do have a front and a back side. The front side kind of has a beveled rounded edge and the back side doesn't. Doesn't mean you can't use the back side if you're trying to do mirror images, but there is a front and a back side to a die cut. So I'm going to flip it over and then I'm going to put my paper down with the glue down. And I just want to make sure that that whole pretty little design is covered up. And then I'm going to take some double-sided tape and I'm going to tape it into place. And I'm just going to go around all four sides and just tape this into place. I'm not going to expose the sticky yet. But I'm going to tape it into place. All right, so now when I pull it up, oh, I did good, I didn't get any glue on there. See, if I had put it down here, I'm trying to make sure I don't get any glue transferred so that when I do my next one, it doesn't get on the front. So now I'm gonna do a wash, rinse, and repeat. I've got my second one. Here's my front side. Here's my back side. I'm gonna take my black piece of paper. I'm gonna make sure that whole little area of the design is covered up and then I'm going to tape it down right into place. Now it doesn't matter that the tape's not straight or even. You're never going to see this back side. This is all going to be hidden. I just want to keep that black piece of paper in place. Good to go. So now I'm letting these go tacky and you can walk away from these for anywhere from two to three minutes to 20 to 30 minutes. You can go make yourself a cup of coffee or answer an email or text somebody or die cut out a few more of them and have an assembly line. You're not gonna wanna take a heat tool to heat them in hopes of drying them and making them go tacky faster. I'm not trying to dry the ink, I'm just trying to make it go tacky. All right, let's give it a whirl. So, now I'm gonna play with glitter. I wanted to color in parts of my beautiful floral, but I wanted to be specific about where I put the, the, the glitter. If I put glue on top, well then everything would have glitter. I want my top to stay as pristine white as it possibly can. And that's where the microfine glitter, my Stacy Park microfine glitter comes in and the Essentials glue pad. It really is a combination of the two. The, the, the microfine glitter doesn't work without the glue pad and the glue pad was made for microfine glitter. Now, what is microfine glitter if you've never heard of it before? Well, all glitters start out the same. They start out as a plastic particle and it all depends upon how finely they're ground. This could be the same glitter that is in a kindergartner's, you know, bill, you know, uh, the, the, the board in their room highlighting whoever it is, Monday's special day person, but it's much more chunky, much more sparkly, much more, you know, bigger. This has been ground down to almost a dust. So there's chunky glitter and there's regular glitter and there's ultra fine glitter and then there's microfine glitter. And my microfine glitter is even more microfine 
than most micro fine glitters. I took it down to basically dust. Let me see if I can get something under there to bring my finger into focus. So it really is dust. And what that means is that you are going to be able to use a little, a long way, and it fills in all the nooks and crannies. But because the glue is on the black and not on the white, wherever the white is, the glitter's gonna brush off. It's only going to stick to the black where the glue is. And because I can now see my design, I'm not taking a piece of black paper and putting my glue down and trying to guess where my design is. No, I can see my design easy peasy. Now I can go in and add my glitter in a very intentional manner. So if I grab my green, my green, my green, my green, and yes, I'm using the back side of tweezers to put to sprinkle it out. I can just tap some right into all of my little all of my little leaves. And I want to go a little bit less. Less is better because you can always add. I'm using so little. The glitter lasts such a long time because it is so finely ground. And I believe we have the best price on microfine glitter that you will find anywhere. So a little bit of green. And then, and I'm gonna do two of these. So then let's do maybe a pink center. And I'm just dumping it right over the top, right over the top of my white. So it falls through and lands on my black. And then how about a little bit of my yellow curry? So my glitters are named the same name my inks are. So like this is Envy. So my green Envy ink hasn't released yet, but this is yellow curry and my yellow curry ink has released. So we're ideally going to have a glitter color for every color of my inks. Okay, so now I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna Kind of spread it around. And I can be a little more intentional of where I'm putting it because I can see my design. I'm not doing it blindly. All right. So there I go. Now, it all has to do with the most important tool you have in your crafty arsenal, your hands, your fingers. I'm going to take, and I'm gonna gently massage that glitter right on into that black paper. And where it is tacky, that glitter is going to hold. where it's tacky on that black paper, my glitter is going to take hold. And then I grab my little inexpensive makeup brush that you're gonna get at a local dollar store or your Piggly Wiggly or your Walmart. And because I've made a mishmash, I can't put it back into any of the glitters that I have, but I can make a mishmash pot. The idea is to have as little glitter as possible. And I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna take my finger and I'm just gonna give a nice burnish. And that burnish is just gonna set that glitter in place. Now I'm not rubbing so hard, er, 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 but I'm not rubbing so light because I do have that paper design on top of it. Then I can just take my glitter, 
brush it off. And I don't have it all over my beautiful white design. Hmm, right? Pretty cool. Let's do it again because I did two of them. So this one's been sitting here going tacky <laughs> in the best possible way. I have no offense to somebody calling me tacky. I am A-OK -okay with it. And let's take maybe maybe my blue how about my blue and I'm gonna put a little bit of my here we go is this my blue jay this is Caribbean a little bit of blue a little bit of blue going on And again, it's important that my fingers not have glue on it because every time I touch something, if it has that glue on it, it's going to transfer that glue. And then let's go ahead and let's do maybe some of this is prom dress pink. So I don't have a I don't have a, uh, oh, I just got it into my green. Oh, well. I don't have a glue or a, a ink out yet, prom dress pink, but it'll be coming. And I'm just tapping it all over. And if I need to add more, I can add more. I'd rather do a little bit less then add too much and let's come back and let's do my green anywhere I have my little my little leaves I'm gonna dump a little bit of green it is a fast and quick and non messy way to glitter. Microfine glitter is a non-messy way to glitter. I don't have it all over me. I don't have it all over my workstation. Now I take that same finger because it kind of looks like a hot mess. And I just start to move it. And anywhere it's tacky, the glitter is going to hold. And then once I've got it there, I can gather it all up. You can see I don't have much left. I want to give it a nice burnish just to make sure that my glitter is all cemented down. Once you burnish it, it doesn't flake off. It's a little bit of wonderful. So again, very little left over, not enough for me to save. I'm just gonna and look at what I did. Where I could make my leaves green and I could make my flowers whatever color I wanted. Now it's just about matting. We're done. It was that simple. Oh, you know what? Wait. But wait, I have this one. What if I die cut?
So this was that piece that I kind of used so that I didn't get glue all over my my craft mat because when I turned it over I didn't want to have glue on my craft mat because then I would have had little pe little bits of glue all over and it would have picked up the glitter. You can do that if you want. Put it on your craft mat, but then just remember to wipe up in between. In between each time you you turn it over to tape your black piece down. Let's just do this one super fast and see what I get. A little bit of an angle. Send it on through. Oh, Stacy, square up your 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 plate, Stacy. Yes, Kevin, keeper of the secret sauce. Square up your plates. My plates were wonky and it wasn't going to fit through. Okay. bits and pieces coming out and then we'll see what we've got and put that right back on my and let's see how big that would be I think that would be okay maybe is this too small? Did I cut it too? Ooh, by the hair of a chinny chin chin. I'm going to go ahead and die cut this out. Now for this, I do not need my precision base plate because this is a super easy die to cut. It is an open frame die. I can stick my hand right on through it. No precision base plate. This one, a little more intricate needs that precision base plate. So let's line it up and see if I can get it close because it's right there. By a hair of a chinny chin chin, I'm gonna get this done. But that's all I need it to be. And let's send it on through. There's my extra. There's my perfect little cut. Finish popping out my little. All right, and let's bring this one back on over. I'm going to tape this down. One. Two. Three. Pull off my liner. It's double-sided tape, so if it sticks over a little bit too much, all I have to do is put it right back in onto itself. Like this one, it's a little long. I'm not gonna worry about cutting it or tearing it. It's double-sided tape, so it will go right back into itself. And then I think I'm gonna try Maybe right there. Ooh, and I'm going to be careful. So maybe I take a little bit of my blue. And 
and maybe I take a little bit of my lighter blue, my Caribbean. Oh, that was a lot. And then maybe I take a little bit of my prom dress pink. And remember, this is the one where I was squishing down on. Now I'm just gonna move that glitter kind of all over and see where it sticks. A little bit of a burnish. Wipe it down, and now I'm gonna trim it out. This was the throwaway piece. This was my throwaway piece. <laughs> Works for me. I'm gonna leave it a little distressed where it is. It's all down. I don't have to worry about it coming off. It's great. Okay, so let's come back to the ones I was working on. <laughs> Here. Now all I have to do is map these. I'm gonna take some black. And I'm gonna trim these on down. Too. You guys might use a, a um, trimmer. I have my freehand. That's the kind of the way I roll. Let me just put my little put my little lid over here. And there we go. Wipe my fingers off. Make sure I don't have any all over me. I don't have any all over my workspace. My hands, except for the finger that I've been using to burnish looks pretty good bring over my black this one's a little wonky now I still have my I don't even need this. I've still got enough on my back side. So I'm just going to open this up, peel this off. And 
mat. Perfect. Trim this on out. Give a nice little brush. And let's see what color cardstock we want to map this on. So I've got my Sizzix cardstock right here. It's like their everyday pack. So you've got 80 sheets of 20 different colors. You've got four of each color. And let's see. Oh, I think that's really pretty. What do we think about that? I think that looks good. And then my other, while we're here, I don't know, maybe the blue. Maybe the blue. I think we'll go with the blue. So let's cut a map for this one. Tape it on down. I got plenty of tape on the back side. Peel up all those liners. The liner's the top piece that you peel off. And then put it on down. And trim it on out. Okay, give a final dusting. And then we can go ahead and mat on our cardstock just to finish it out. You would do a better job of taping down. I'm just getting this down so I can trim it out for you. And in no time at all, we didn't get glitter all over our white paper. We glittered behind so we could be specific where we put the glitter. Think about the dies and a way you can do this with dies you already own, but for $20, $20, you get all the dies I showed you.
add a sentiment and you're done. Look at how pretty is that? And yet the white is pristine white. Wahoo, kachu. I love microfine glitter. I had to have microfine glitter. And we carried glitter from a company called Gigi. Lovely company, really love them. But they only had 10 colors of glitter and I needed more. I, I, am a, I cannot do just 10 colors. Oh no, I needed more. I needed purples and more blues and more greens. So we partnered with Couture Creations and they are the ones who I am licensing designing for all of my glitter. And they are working with Jacquard so that my glitters all match my inks. And then there's more stuff coming that's going to be matching my inks, but that's that's a while away, but it's coming. <laughs> okay. What do we think? I did these a little earlier. Pretty. And here I finished backing it one more on white. Pretty. Easy peasy done. You can do this. All I used was black paper that I inked up with my glue and put it behind my white die cut. Now nobody knows it's there. Nobody knows there's black paper behind there. It's all hidden, all covered up. And yet that lets you add your glitter where you want to put it. And it was all done with Sizzix dies that are on a Holy Smokes Artichokes I bundle, a Make It Monday bundle. They retail for $90 for $19.99. Embossing folder, die set, die set, die set, and then the one we used today. It's all there for 20 bucks. Want to see some of the samples the girls did? I've got beautiful samples for you. So we've got some Sizzix makers doing samples. Now again, they use the, they use the embossing folder. They use the florals. Look at this one. This one is by Zelda. How cute is this? Just the little paper clip using the flowers to make a creative paper clip. Isn't that darling? Love it. And how pretty. So inked on the front and used black on the back as a silhouette. Super pretty, Kelly Perez. And here we have Easy Peasy Bling. This is also by Zelda. Love it, Easy Peasy with just a little touch of sparkle there and then alcohol inking on the back. And this is by Brenda DeLoyer, where she's got the, the cut in that we did today and alcohol inking through the back. This one's very pretty, Kelly Perez. Here she's taken that beautiful, I mean, really beautiful. This turned into this. Okay, right? Hello, beautiful. And here, Kelly took the embossing fold. So she die cut her, her decor die like I did first, and then she sent it through an embossing folder, the embossing folder that you get with the set, and then did a light luster wax over the top. How pretty is this? with the soft pink going on. Love it. And Zelda, pretty. Again, the embossing folder. 
and using the, the dies that came with this set. So pretty. But wait, there's more. I showed you the shaker earlier. Cute shaker, and this one was also done by Zelda. Where you've got the little decor pieces. They haven't fallen out. They've just added a little bit of touch, and she did a shaker from them. That is this die set right here. And then look at how pretty is that. So this is inking instead of using glitter and being very specific about where your color is. Wow, and this one was by Zelda too. And this one, holy smokes, Laura Lynn. Holy cow, this is stunning. I told you these were much prettier than the picture. Look at what you can make with that. They're so much better than what the packaging shows. So much better. Maybe that's why they're... The, if this was on the front cover, I think they would have sold like hotcakes. <laughs> and this one's by Laura Lynn. Lovely. Hello, friend. Again, your floral dyes, the embossing folder. Brenda DeLoyer, so pretty. The embossing folder, the ink on the on the underside by Kelly. Oh, somebody used my fanciful framelits. Well, I love you more too. They used the sentiment, love you more. And they probably used the little hearts. They did. And they used my fanciful framelit, Laura Lynn. Okay, teacher's pet. <laughs> Well done you. So she used the love you more sentiment from this set right here. And she used the hearts to do the hearts down the side. And she used my Sizzix fanciful framelit. <laughs> and then another love you more. Look at how cute are these. And this has the hearts and the little starbursts. This one is by, is this one by Brenda DeLoyer? And then somebody, somebody is an overachiever who went in and paper pieced everything back in. Laura Lynn, paper piecing, wow. Went in and pieced each little, each little piece right back into itself. And then Brenda DeLoyer, pretty. Oh my gosh, the next one's beautiful too. This is also Brenda DeLoyer. This one's beautiful. The alcohol linking on the outside, the design cut into it, a sentiment right over the top. Oh my gosh. 20 bucks gets you everything, gets you all those dyes. Look at this. This is also by Brenda. This is so lovely. Again, done with a set that you may have looked at and gone, meh, I don't know about that one. But if they had put something like this on the cover, I guarantee you it would have been a sellout. So we've got the bundle for you today. Oh, I've got quickly. I've got the, here's the embossing folder. You saw the one that I was using today. Here is the storyboard for this set right here. So you get everything that's on the storyboard in this one set. Here is the storyboard for this set. So you get all of the pieces ready to go and then you layer on top. And then the storyboard for this one where you have all the little, all the little, hearts and flowers and little starbursts and you have all the little flowers here the hearts there and the sentiments in this one so we'll go ahead and we'll put my glitter on sale well the i want it all bundle will be on sale because i think the glitter is already it's at a very 
it's at a holy smokes artichokes price to begin with but we'll do a special on the i want it all we'll do the glue we'll do we've got the 20 dollar bundle for you that's all part of the make it monday so as long as you shop inside this category or the 49 and market we will expedite out and i think we'll do no i think that's it i think that's what we'll do that way we keep it easy peasy so i've got 12 colors of glitter you pick what you makes your heart happy the essentials glue pad to go with it and then the bundle i think that's good all right you guys today is make it monday day it also was 49 and Market launch day for Sizzix. So exciting. Their first collection. I know how that feels. March 1st was my first collection. And I know how nervous I was and excited I was. And oh my gosh, it was a year in the making to get it. Yes, my March collection started last March. <laughs> so if you love either of these fabulous bundles from Sizzix, whether it be the latest and greatest from 49 and Market or the $19.99 value, which should be $90. You make your heart happy. Pick what you love. Or maybe it was just all about the technique today. Maybe that's what you took away was, oh my gosh, I think I can do that. I think you can too. And it was super simple and it didn't make a mess and it was bing, bang, boom. So I am Stacy. This is Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com. I will see you all tomorrow for Take Two Tuesday, which is a, it is a class. That is all it is. We're going to be playing with my latest and greatest from Sizzix Couture Creations and Jacquard. And then I will be back on Thursday for a new for you event. Until then, thanks for being here, everybody. It was great live chatting with you if you join me through during the premiere. And if not, come back 5 p.m. sunny California time, 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern, every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. All right, you guys, I'll see you later. Bye, everybody.